since the police is a part of the government in a way the transfers and postings and everything are done by the, the government of the day political leadership has taken the authority to transfer the station house officer what we call the sub inspector you know they used to transfer as the like i mean ultimately order may, might have been issued by the superintendent of police but under the direction control of the home minister or the chief minister now you don't give time for them to do that and then they dictate what section should be applied when a crime is being committed who should be arrested whether it should be a bailable case or a non bailable case whether bail should be asked or should not be asked all these things are being sort of to an extent when i am saying this please excuse me because the situation changes from state to state some states may be slightly better than the other states but i am talking of the average which is going on they have said investigation uh, of crime and law and order function should be separated to the extent possible and the reporting should be also different in these cases this is the second recommendation the third one is a state police uh, commission and the fourth one is the autonomy is preserved in the first one by constituting at the same time accountability is to be there then they said there has to be a police complaints authority at the state level to whom complaints against the police can be made because in the police hierarchy you, you can't completely trust the senior man whoever an individual may be very good 